and Merry Christmas. You stand around and watch all the opportunities go by. You sit there, you sit there, you sit there. I'm surprised that the fucking uh, wildebeest didn't step on the poor bitch. <laughs> they sit there, they sit there. They, oh, I'm getting ready. Bert's getting ready. Bert's getting ready. Rick's getting ready. Oh, maybe, maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Oh, fuck, no, no, I'm tired now. Maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. And here comes... And there comes somebody like me, just jumps on the fucker and eats it. Maybe the next one, Ray. Who in this room is that male lion? And the truth of the matter is the female lion does all the fucking honey, not the male. So the male got tired of waiting. He must have been really hungry. Come on, you bitch. How come you're not doing anything? So she, he finally jumped on some poor fucker. Once you become fearless, life becomes limitless. The five things that I would do is, aren't really five. It's only just one, okay? And I wish, I wish to hell um, that I had known this uh, so many years ago, but just fucking do it. I mean, it's, like I said, I think on the London Real uh, uh, podcast, which I thank Brian uh, Rose for the opportunity because uh, he opened up the, my eyes to podcasts and uh, I'll talk a little bit about uh, my experience uh, with um, my reality show in a few minutes. But best advice I ever got from Mr. Grazos, do it. He didn't say just fucking do it. He didn't swear. Uh, and the best advice I've ever given anybody is just fucking do it. Uh, we take too much time procrastinating. We take too, and because we're afraid of failure and, and uh, f uh, fear is false expectations appearing real. We're worried about what other people think. We're trying to fit in. And I can go through a whole litany of bullshit. Now, it's not bullshit because it's not true. Litany of stuff why you are where you are because you just didn't do it. You didn't want to make a mistake. You got a mortgage. You got uh, two ex-wives. You got a 15-year-old daughter who's uh, pregnant. I can, your, your, your dad's got Alzheimer's. Your mother's got emphysema spitting up blood. I can go on and on and on and on. But the bottom fucking line is... If you had 15 years ago, you had just done it. 10 years ago, you had just fucking done it. Five years ago, if you had just fucking done it. Six fucking months ago, if you just fucking done it. You probably wouldn't be in the position you're in now. So I'm saying no matter what your age is, it's still time to just fucking go out and do it. Just go out and fucking do it. Oh, no, but how do you classify it? Right. Do, I'm going to make you, make you give me two lists. One list, your goals. Intermediate short-term, long-term goals, okay? Both in personal and business. Then you put another list together, and this is a good exercise for you guys to do. You put another list together and you say, uh, who you met with from Sunday midnight till Saturday midnight for one week. Who you talked to or who you met with, okay? And you put the list together. Okay, and let's say there's 50 people on this list. Or in your case, maybe a hundred, I don't know. Okay, on mine, it's a short list. Only the mentees, basically. Five or six people outside the mentees, lawyers and accountants. Now, you put a number by every fucking person that you emailed, Skype fucked, tweet fucked, link fucked, and wh which one of your goals on this other side of the paper they have anything to do with. You will be staggered, stunned, gobsmacked, awestruck. How much time you're wasting with people that have no, uh, no business being in your life to attain your goals. Correct. Saying, okay. Hanging out with losers, wasting your time with people that mean Correct. nothing to you. Okay. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. That's one of your top, top three, it is. three pieces. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. You want to know why you're all fucked up? Just look at the fucking bums you hang around with. And why do I say that? Because after 46 years and teaching you morons for 23 years, you want to take the easy way out. Because you think life is a journey. <laughs> that is horseshit. Life's a journey if you're a moron and you're retarded. That's why, you know, that's what, that's what you've done with the life up here to four. It's been a journey.
And how good is the fucking journey? You tell me. Wouldn't you have rather, when the first time you went out with somebody that you thought you were in love with, thought is the operative word, wouldn't you have lied to have a, a template? Oh, let's follow this process instead of, because that is a journey. And all the mistakes you made, and raising this fucking little shithead for kids you got, instead of having this book. Life doesn't have to be a journey. It's a journey for morons. You think life is a journey for the Trump kids? It's a motherfucking process, the same process his daddy raised him by. Same for me. Life ain't a journey if you're my kid. It's a goddamn process. So you tell me if you're results oriented at all, who's better off, the journey or the process? And for the most part, most people in this room and most people listening on YouTube have to come to the realization, as sad as it is, that you have pissed, you have urinated, here to four, up until this morning, your entire life down a fucking shithole. Very simple. That's it. If you want to create massive wealth. If you just want to be a happy, slappy housewife from fucking Dundee, or a happy, slappy bimbo from fucking Toronto, or a happy, slappy guy who goes to the Little League games in Mesa, Arizona, then that's okay. But if you want to create some fucking money, and money's not everything, but if you don't money, think money can buy happiness, you don't know where to fucking shop. Say that with an Irish accent. Okay, if, <laughs> if you don't think money can buy happiness, you don't know where to shop. If you don't think money can buy happiness, you don't know where to shop. Correct. <laughs> uh, correct. And, but I mean, you can get money and then go save the world. You can get money and save the forests in Brazil. You make money and go save global warming, which I don't believe in. You can, I mean, and save the, uh, the kids in Biafra and all that shit. But without money, you can't save a fucking thing. Don't you understand? Don't the fucking idiots on YouTube understand that? Until you make some shekels. Until you make some fucking coin. You can't help anybody. He's so ashamed of being a snowflake. He's so ashamed of what his parents produced. A cunt. And most of you are. That first question, what would you do if somebody said your girlfriend or your boy, uh, uh, and one of you said, I'm heterosexual, I can't relate to that because, okay. Well, they say your girlfriend's got a big fucking fat ass, asshole. What do you do? 95% of you said nothing. The second question, what if somebody spit on your wife or girlfriend? 75% of you said nothing. What the fuck? Nothing. I mean, what happened to your fucking nuts? On November 8th, I announced that uh, when Mr. Trump, whether you uh, love him or hate him, this was the beginning of the greatest transformation of wealth the world has ever fucking seen since World War II. See, I know what he was going to do. I knew what he, and I know what he's going to do now. And he hasn't even got started. Now, what are you, what are you going to tell your kids and your grandkids 25 years from now when they say, gee, daddy, gee, grandpa, what were you doing other than having your thumb up your big fucking ass during the greatest transformation of wealth in the history of the world? What were you fucking doing? Fuck all, nothing. That's what most of you will tell them, your grandchildren and your children. It's never going to get any better than this, kids. This is the, as I said on YouTube, the eye of the perfect motherfucking storm. This is it. I never thought I'd live to see it again. This is going to make the 80s look like a nursery rhyme. 